hypothesis. Hypothesis, uh, started, uh, today, as he explained, is uh, nothing but a, a statement. And I'm giving a statement that the sun rises in the east. Now, if anyone will be interested to test this hypothesis, not at all. Because, uh, therefore, there is a, this is a universal fact, the sun rises in the east. So therefore, Patrick Goss has suggested that this is not a, a statistical hypothesis. This may be a research hypothesis. Most of the researchers of social sciences, fundamental sciences and basic sciences are there doing research. And one participant asked what is the difference between hypothesis and the statistical hypothesis. In their research, they plan certain type of projects, certain type of uh, dimensions, uh, certain type of uh, findings. They have certain concept of their hypothesis in your mind. That is not a statistical hypothesis. But if I say that uh, the number of COVID patients uh, tomorrow in Lucknow city will be 250, then definitely you will be interested to test whether the Professor Pandey is saying right or wrong. So this statement is known as a statistical hypothesis. So therefore, this is one thing. And so far as a box and whisker plot, Dr. Sambhavi and Ashok have explained a lot of things. Now you see in this picture, which I am made for uh, all of the participants who are not very familiar about the box and whisker. These vertical lines uh, are known as whisker. This is the median and this is the upper quartile limit and lower line and intra quartile range can be explained. Now I am you starting see? with a very few numbers. My question to various statisticians, uh, they are they have worked and they are present in Europe and America and other countries, uh, even in the, so many stalwarts of Indian traditions. My concept is that if nature, the assumptions on which this box plot is based is on the concept of normal distribution, then how can we check the normality of a data? My basic question is that this box plot, most of the statisticians all over the world say that box plot is formed on the basis of the assumptions which are on the concepts of the normal distribution. But when a person is normal and by virtue, then how he can test the normality of it? So that's why I have given you this very simple example three four five i have taken a random numbers first we order these numbers into a list to get it. excuse me sir yeah so your screen is not visible sir kasa kindly share again okay, okay, okay. Is it not visible? Yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. This is from this I have started that box and mixture plot is upper quartile, the median and lower quartile. Dr. Asoka and Dr. Sambhavi has explained in a very well described manner. I am not going to describe this, but my question was that if someone says that this box plot figure or diagram is made on the basis of the assumptions of the normal distribution theory, then how can you test the normality of a general distribution? That's why this exercise I did, three, five, four, I have taken some numbers and we are the, uh, writing these number into ascending order, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, up to 40. And then find the median from the order list, which in the previous slide from 1 to 14, then cross off 
one number from each side we cross one from left and 14 for right then two then 13 then three and like this right? and we got uh, there are two numbers in between six and seven if there are two numbers in the middle and those two middle numbers together seven plus six that is 13 and divided by two that's why our median comes out to be 6.5 and you see that i have put a single line i have splitted these numbers into two groups uh, by this uh, line which is showing uh, here as a vertical again this uh, uh, these numbers have been grouped into two rate of one to six and here from seven to forty then find the median of for each half from one two three four five double six median comes out to be four therefore left median is four and right median similar way we can obtain as ten then this uh, yesterday dr asok very clearly explained the left median is called the lower quartile the right median is called the upper quartile and in the similar way, we draw a number line from 1 to 14. Draw a number line from the smallest to the largest number without escaping any number. And just we have again 4 here and 10 is the upper quartile here in this diagram. Just I did it here. And draw a box containing the circle at the lower and upper quartile i have from the, i have made this uh, box then put a circle at the median you remember that i have calculated 6.5 as a median so i have placed this median value here in this uh, plot in this box draw a line connecting the median to this box we have drawn this uh, vertical line then one, put the circle at the higher and low point now i have put it a value at circle at one as well as uh, on 40. therefore now you draw lines uh, that connect the high and low points to the box that is from one to four and then 10 to 14. then this values are three five these are the values which are randomly data i have never discussed the basic assumptions of the normal t or normal distributions therefore these are the values here is the completed box and whisker plot so this is the why it is very essential whatever dr asok and dr somebody discussed a number of times every times and every software whether SPSS, SAS, STATA, they are using, we should always first see our observation whether they are following a normal distribution. If they are not following, today uh, Anupma was uh, telling about the Takis test, that is the based on the Takis ladder. And this is the transformation of the variable when our data is skewed in the uh, our very first uh, day one, I have discussed that there are two types of uh, skewness, negatively skewed and positively skewed. Most of the real life data are positively skewed, but never get uh, we uh, see the negatively skewed data. How will you convert or uh, you will reduce the skewness by transforming your variables by using this Tucky's ladder? And on the basis of this Takis letter, this uh, people of uh, data science or software development are changing the basic concept of a statistic. For example, post hoc uh, test uh, Anupma was telling today. This post hoc test is nothing but the test which are applied in our statistical theory after t, t test or pair t test. Similarly, uh, I think uh, Dr. Akas will come to deliver a lecture of hierarchical regression. Hierarchical regression is nothing but a new coin term for a stepwise regression which we are teaching 
which is very long, hundred of years. So therefore, this the key test is based on the to reduce the skewness of the data if everywhere we are getting in the real life. Have we represent one variable in test? We are going to consider this variable raised to a power lambda or v to the power lambda like this. We go up the ladder to remove left skewness and down the ladder to remove right skewness. This was the concept of uh, this uh, Takis. Now you see that uh, how we can reduce our skewness in the data and we can convert into the parametric setup so that there is a very less uh, skewness in our data and we can apply the parametric tests which are most robust as compared to the non-parametric as I was discussing in today's lecture. That is the concept of this is the just uh, left skewness and if suppose V is there, that ladder is broken here and now how will it We will take V square or we will have the transformation of V square. Similarly, we can, if uh, by transforming the variable by V square is not possible, then we can go up for V cube. So if we, it is not practically possible that our data is not becoming normal, then we can transform the variable V4 and we can perform the analysis on SPSS or any software. If data is our positively skewed, then we will take a square root and cube root and minus one y or sometimes this. And most uh, times uh, I have analyzed a thousands of data by taking log v base 10. So this is the concept that how we can analyze the skewed data in our normal distribution. Day before yesterday, when I was analyzing a very interesting result, I got the first data which is negatively skewed, and this is real life data. Nowadays, in the COVID scenario, online examinations are being conducted. And if you, a question is asked to uh, a particular student to give the reply or submit the reply within two minutes uh, and uh, uh, that was a data which I was analyzing of the Kothari group of institutions of uh, uh, Greater Noida, Noida. So they asked me to discuss this thing. So when I was uh, doing the analysis, uh, I got the data. What they did, uh, instead of uh, providing two minutes time for the aptitude test of the students, uh, they increased the time level. That is. Uh, they give uh, give the time to the participants for five minutes instead of a standard two minutes. And in that situation, a student or candidate can think more and more and recall their memory and their answers will become uh, positive. This is the first data which I have seen as a negatively skewed data. This is the concept of Takis. So I, so my submission to all participants that. Uh, most of the times your data is uh, negatively skewed or positively skewed and most of the times it is positively skewed but you can change uh, this uh, into a normal structure and you can apply this uh, concept. So therefore to remove right skewness uh, we typically take a square root, cube root, logarithm, reciprocal like this and for to remove left skewness. If you allow me, I just uh, in, have to share four or three minutes. Just see this picture. All dear parliament. Is there similarity between these two? One is the picture of LADI have second and one is a picture of this. Now tell me in the chat box that what are the similarity between these two pictures? Similarly, here I have also taken a person with a puppy or dog. How this question uh, is my interpretation by this is that a single characteristic may not be sufficient. If you see that these hairs of this lady is resembling with the hairs of this dog. Similarly, here in these two pictures, the eyes of this fellow is exactly like this. It means that only on the basis of a single characteristic of a one particular data set, we cannot say that it is a normal. As Anupma was doing that case one, case two, case three, 
or cancer stages are stage one, stage two, stage three. So how we can have this is the very detect similarity in people task of machine learning to specify as many characteristics as possible, measure them each and for this purpose, the tradition teach factor analysis. They are the some higher statistical competition. Factor analysis and multi-dimensional scaling, corresponding analysis, correspondence analysis, and uh, conjoint analysis. So although we can analyze uh, each variable individually using methods available in univariate analysis till today, what we have discussed, uh, but uh, in multivariate, try to exploit in of the relationship among the variable to make several inferences which are not possible. That's why I share this my thing. And in that situation, I have done this type of normal distribution and the 33.35% data or probability area of the curve is this. Similarly, for 13.6, 2.2, and 0.18. So this is the way that in the real practice and in the real life data, we can we can also apply the normal test. And this is the one slide which uh, is uh, from the psychology, the psychological studies in way as a tradition when teach the psychology. There are always four points in every human being: A, B, C, D. A means that known to self, A for arena, B for blind spot, C clone packet, and D for dog. A dark spot, A means that I know, known to self, but known to others. That means that jitna kuch main janta hu, utna hi aap hi mere baare mein jante. But B is the blind spot not known to self. I do not know the, what, what is my knowledge, what is my teacher, or what is the correct state. But known to others. And C is the close spot. I know that I know all these things, but it is not known to others. And D is that known, not known to self, and means that B, I don't know about myself as well as others also don't know what I am. The journey of uh, I am sure being head of the department or being the convener of the coordinator of this program that I will try to be whatever you are expecting from us. Trust me, I will be at your expectation, whatever you are thinking. And this has special scopes in my department. I am teaching uh, the whole uh, seven months or six months semester. And I am completing almost uh, 50% quotes of that in within a seven days, which is, I think, not up to the bar. But your journey is from D to A that all of the participants move from dark to arena. How will you do that? That is our inclusion command and affection analysis of qualitative data analysis when we perform in psychology data that we have to include your subject, whatever the commands which are providing by different speakers and you will have an affection with the subject and the basic concepts and therefore you must know that what is this is also a very important slide of psychological statistics where we know the strength weakness and opportunity and threat you should know your strength you are asking so many questions i am saying in the chat box you should know your weakness what are your weakness Either you are a student or a medical professor or a professor or a, an university teacher or, or a project officer of a private or corporate sector. And what are the opportunity? That's why our department have planned to provide this opportunity. And what are your threats? So many speakers are provided, are providing you the different type of uh, aspects uh, of uh, statistical technology. And that's why I suggested Meghna to share a link of the, uh, in your Telegram group uh, where I have given a descriptive analysis. Just you click any topic, whether it is mean, median, mode, variance, standard deviation, correlation, 
rank correlation, sphere manipulation, or uh, p value testing, everything, whenever you will click that point, uh, hyperlink, you will get the, some literature, one page literature, followed by a video you are not able to understand by lit written. So that's, uh, that is uh, a Saturday night. Uh, I suggested Meghna to this. And uh, one more, uh, as a tradition, I say that uh, for this sort of analysis, uh, that uh, I am sitting at my residence, but uh, I am saying that uh, my wife is my strength, but uh, my neighbor's wife is my weakness. And uh, if my neighbor is uh, outside of his residence, then that is an opportunity. And if he is inside, that is in the threat. That's all I want to share about box and plot and the basic concepts of statistics. And I am sure that, trust me, that we all will be whatever you are expecting and I add your expectations.